Hello and welcome back. In this week's episode, we're going to be learning a funky ukulele groove. We need four chord shapes for this song. The first shape is A minor. The second shape is D major. The third shape is G. And the fourth shape is F. So the first part of the chord progression goes between A minor and D. So to play the A minor chord, you need to put your second finger onto G2, that's the top string, and you'll strum all four strings. And then it's quite a quick change to the D, so you might find it easy to leave your second finger on G2, and then just add your third finger onto C2, and your little finger onto E2. That way we can have a, a quick transition between those two chords. The third chord we'll need is a G. To play this chord, put your first finger on C2, your second finger onto A2, and your third finger onto E3. The fourth chord we'll need is F. Just put your first finger onto E1, and your second finger onto G2. Great, now you've got the chord shapes, let's have a look at the strum pattern. So here's our rhythm for the A minor and D major chords. Let's have a look at those rhythms against the beats of the bar. We've got a one beat down strum on beats one and two, a dotted quaver down strum on beat three, uh, a dotted quaver lasts for three quarters of a beat, and we'll have an up strum on the last quarter of the third beat. This rhythm is called a semi-quaver. Let me show you how we can break the strum pattern down to make it easier to understand. Let's start by splitting the whole bar into four quarters. We get four one beat rhythms. Now if we split each beat into four again, we'd have 16 semiquaver rhythms in total. And another name we can use for a semiquaver is a 16th note. Let's go back to our rhythm uh, and we're going to lose the fourth beat strum as we can see in the original strum pattern that there's a rest on the fourth beat. All we're going to do now is split beat three into four again. This will give us four sixteenth notes or four semiquavers on the third beat. We'll count those by saying three e and a. Uh. We count like this so we have a sound on each sixteenth beat that we can use to match our playing to, depending where the semiquaver falls. If we look back up to the top rhythm, you can see that we have a strum on beat three and the uh of the third beat. Because it's a dotted quaver on the third beat, we'll let the down strum ring over the three E and, and then play our up strum on the uh. This will give us the strum pattern we need for the piece. The rhythm for our F and G chords are really easy. We've got a one beat strum, on beats one and two, and a two beat strum on beats three. So that means we've got our down strum on one, two, and three. Great, so now we've got our strum pattern, let's try it with the full track. I've left a little space in the middle of this backing track that you can use to try out your own rhythms. Thanks so much for joining me today. Best of luck strumming along with this one and I'll see you next time. Take care now, bye bye.
Would you love to play? Webcam lessons are available now through Durham Music Service. Go to durhammusic.org.uk to sign up.